It's often the question a Marine asks when presented with a new piece of technology. Wait, could I strap a rocket launcher to this thing? Members of the Marines Tactical Training and Exercise Control Group last month asked and answered just that question when working with a four-legged battle buddy dubbed the robotic goat. Actually a robotic dog, the goat was part of a test of a remote triggering system for an M72AS light anti-tank weapon trainer, the Marines said. The military across the branches is looking at a range of robotic quadrupeds to be used for reconnaissance purposes or as pack animals in the field sending them out on dangerous missions that don't necessarily require a human. Marines out at 29 Palms, California, apparently set out to answer the question, why not? And sent the goat out with the weapon strapped to its back. The concept is simple, the Marines said. Instead of sending a Marine into a dangerous position to fire the weapon, why not just send the creepy robotic goat? The Marine could safely stay behind cover while the goat gets closer for a better shot. The result was a captivating bit of footage released by the Marines in September, showing the marriage of the two remote systems. The Marines note that this particular robot isn't actually a military issue. You can actually buy it on Amazon. And the test was just a proof of concept idea. Robots have become one focus of the Marine Corps' modernization initiative, Force Design 2030, aimed at getting the service branch ready for a conflict with a great power like China. They're also researching support systems developed by DARPA to be used as a pack animal to carry weapons or supplies. The Navy, for its part, is experimenting with using robot dogs to help with ship maintenance. And the Army has even considered just straight up putting a squad weapon on a robot dog to send into battle. But the goat perhaps most recalls the Therminator, the flamethrower equipped dog of a very similar make to the Marines version. The sky's the limit apparently when it comes to mounting deadly weapons on four-legged robots. So we'll see what's next. For Marine Corps Times, I'm Irene Lowenson. <laughs>